and you know, fire it up, let the engines roll. You know, that's, that's <laughs> it's all about the U.S. military, man. You know, or you know, all the good guys and the good guy military. Everybody that actually in the military, if they're doing it, they're doing it for the right reasons because you got to help people. Black label, you never hurt, you always protect. And that's, that's the way it goes. So, you know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, strength, determination, merciless forever. Uh, Doomsday Jesus, the lyric that came up for that was, you know, because everybody has me, you know, with Jesus and God, you know, I go Catholic and everything like that. So it's just like, it's really not a good time when you're getting banged up on a cross. I mean, I, I can think of a million other things, you know, like hanging out, watching Monday Night Football with the guys and everything. And I can really get behind a guy when it just goes like this. All right, everybody here has to get their ass whooped. Or if somebody steps up for everybody else, everyone can go home and everyone will be fine. And then he just, he was the first one to step up. He just goes, all right, kick my ass. And that means the rest of my family, everyone will be fine. That's what he did. So that's my guy. He'll always be my guy. So after the 9 11 thing, I just go, because Jesus, it's all good, and it's all loving, and it's all strength, determination, merciless, forever, and power. The ultimate in power. And I just go, I go, Doomsday Jesus, Doom, the other brother. I go, we need you now. So that's, that's the metaphor of that lyric, and I'm going to add that. So it just means we gotta stomp out all the bad shit. So that's what it represents. But our 13 years of grief, remember some 13 year old little kid and he was just like, I mean, it felt so bad that he was sitting with their parents in a, in a courtroom and everything like that. I guess it's basically the kid was just a little punk ass little douche, just like Charles Manson, loser, jerk off. And it's heartbreaking for the parents having a child do something like that. So it's just like, uh, they murdered some people. Or something. Did, you know, just an idiot, man. But it can also be misconstrued as 13 years of grief, us being hooked up on a desert island for 13 years without any sauce or any cocktails or no porn. I, you know, it could be either or. You, you make up what you want, but I mean, I know what it really came from. But a lot of people ask me if, if it's, a, you know, the three factors no sauce, no Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath records, and no porn. I, you know, well, you make up your mind on that one. Okay, go figure it out. Cheers. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Zach Wild from Black Loop Society and the Ozzy Osbourne Band. Now listen, I'm just showing the guys around, just having a good time. Just uh, We're just checking out all the guitars, the amps, and everything like that. All the stuff that I've gotten over the years and everything like that. But I'm thinking that might be able to rival this collection of insanity over here. Uh, come over here for a second, I'll show you. That would happen to be my doll collection. As you can see, it's quite an impressive collection. And each one of them have a story. Um, right here, Queen Purple. This was given to me by Prince when we were in Minnesota. This doll right here is uh, an artist known as Pink. I don't know if you know who she is. She's, uh, she's awesome. Super cool, great artist. Sweetheart. Beyonce gave me this when we went out on the road. Uh, Black Label Rolling came down to see Beyonce and Jay-Z, great guy, beautiful, sweetheart of a guy, beautiful man. And uh, this one was given to me by Dimebag Dow. You know, it was the whole Texas thing, the hat and the whole nine yards. Kerry King gave me this one over here from Slayer. And uh, he said, you know, he goes, Zach, you know what? You know, he goes, we may reign in blood, but you reign in wearing dresses. So that's the reason why he, he gave me this this uh, this little princess right here. But uh, God bless Carrie King. God bless this dress. Hey, listen, when all is said and done, if I got a toss up between my guitar collection and my doll collection, I'm choosing my goddamn motherfucking dolls. And that's a motherfucking fact. I was just talking to one of my buddies one day, and he was just like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. And I was just like, because uh, that's, that's where the line came in. Uh, the feelings that I once felt, you know, they're gone. You know what I mean? It's just like, so uh, 
the best cigar I wrote. I wrote that for one of my buddies, you know. I was just sitting around the bar, just talking, and just as an attack, I don't want to do this anymore. So, uh, I mean, that definitely still worth all about. Actually driving down the road, listening to, uh, this is some Zap, and uh, that the uh, inspiration for this thing was uh, definitely Led Zeppelin. So, uh, it's too cold still going, but anyways, uh, that's what it is. The inspiration came from Led Zeppelin, and that's, that's how I got it, but, uh, until then, just check it out. stuff going on over there, but, uh, because he's the greatest and everything like that, so, uh, I mean, that's a cool, I mean, this is one of, there's only one, you know, he painted, painted this one for me, so the, the bottom one is, uh, I mean, I worship the ground blocks, so I mean, he's the greatest, so, uh, but the whole thing is, this is the only one in the world, you know, without a doubt. And I gotta get the goddamn pickups fixed, <laughs> I can't. All the knobs fixed, for Christ's sake. The thing plays great, though. You know. Ozzy's the greatest. There you go. Anyways, I was just asking, you know, I mean, I, I don't know whether you guys have any augmentation because you have beautiful press. I, I, I've been thinking about it myself, actually. I, I just think I could use much.